Halo teman-teman, jumpa lagi dengan saya Joe di SF Speaking English Fluently atau berbicara bahasa Inggris dengan lancar. Untuk yang baru bergabung, saya ucapkan selamat bergabung dan ayo kita belajar bersama-sama untuk meningkatkan kemampuan kita berbicara bahasa Inggris dengan keadaan yang benar. Dan jangan lupa di like dan subscribe, serta tekan tombol lonceng agar kalian dapat terus mengikuti update dari channel ini. Untuk yang sudah bergabung, mohon dibantu like dan subscribe ke teman-teman kalian supaya channel ini makin berkembang dan dapat terus berlanjut. Ditunggu saran dan usulan kalian, demikian juga jika ada pertanyaan-pertanyaan seputar pembahasan, jangan segan-segan tuliskan di kolom komen. Saya akan usahakan untuk segera membalasnya. Oke okay guys, tonton video ini sampai akhir, mudah-mudahan bermanfaat bagi kalian. Terima kasih. Langsung saja kita bahas topik kita kali ini yaitu Phrasal Verbs Part 2. Kata kerja terdiri dari dua kata atau lebih, phrasal verbs, sering kita jumpai dalam teks formal maupun informal. Penguasaan kata kerja yang terdiri dari dua kata atau lebih ini akan dapat membantu Anda untuk memahami kalimat-kalimat bahasa Inggris lebih dalam lagi. Berikut phrasal verb list dari A sampai C yang dapat kalian pelajari supaya bahasa Inggris kalian terdengar lebih gaul. Kita mulai dari yang A, account for, account for mempertanggungjawabkan atau memberi penjelasan you have to account for the money you spend you have to account for the money you spend anda harus mempertanggungjawabkan uang yang anda keluarkan bisa juga berarti memberi penjelasan can you account for this error can you account for this error bisakah anda menjelaskan kesalahan itu kesalahan ini Ache for, yang artinya merindukan atau menambahkan. I've been aching for her since I first met her. I've been aching for her since I first met her. Aku sudah merindukannya sejak pertama kali bertemu dengannya. Act on, act on, yang artinya bertindak atas atau mengikuti cara. You won't be able to find him unless you act on my advice. You won't be able to find him unless you act on my advice. Anda tidak akan dapat menemukan yang kembali kecuali Anda bertindak atas nama saya. You'd better act on what he asks you to do. Di sini artinya mengikuti cara. You'd better act on what he asked you to do. Anda sebaiknya bertindak atas apa yang dia minta Anda lakukan. Act out, yang artinya memerankan atau memperagakan. Jane and Tom are acting out a part of the story. Jane and Tom are acting out a part of the story. Jane dan Tom memerankan bagian dari cerita itu. Act up, yang artinya bisa bertingkah, bisa juga berarti ngadat. The teacher got angry because John began to act up and was distracting the class. The teacher got angry because John began to act up and was distracting the class. Guru itu marah karena John mulai bertingkah dan mengganggu kelas. The television has been acting up recently. I should telephone the technician. The television has been has been acting up recently. I should telephone the technician. Televisi itu telah ngadat baru-baru ini. Saya harus menelpon teknisi. Add on yang bisa berarti menambahkan atau memasukkan nilai atau angka. I haven't added I haven't added the text on the price yet. I haven't added the tax on the price yet. Saya belum menambahkan pajak ke harganya. Add up yang bisa berarti berarti atau bisa berarti menjumlahkan. They have been going up for five years. It adds up that they will get married. They have been going up for five years. It adds up that they will get married. Mereka sudah pacaran selama lima tahun. Itu berarti bahwa mereka akan menikah. Please add up the total cost to make sure the amount is correct. Please add up the total cost to make sure the amount is correct. Harap menambahkan uh, total biaya untuk memastikan bahwa jumlahnya benar. 
add up to add up to yang artinya mengakibatkan atau menyebabkan the new price of fuel will add up to poor residents being misery the new price of fuel will add up to poor residents being misery harga BBM yang baru akan mengakibatkan kesengsaraan warga miskin allow for yang artinya memungkinkan atau mengizinkan we have enough chairs to allow for 40 extra guests we have enough chairs to allow for 40 extra guests kami memiliki atau mempunyai cukup banyak kursi yang memungkinkan untuk tambahan 40 tamu lagi answer back yang artinya membantah do what I've told you to do, don't answer me back. Do what I've told you to do, don't answer me back. Lakukan apa yang aku suruh, jangan membantah. Ask after, menanyakan kabar. I met your friend Susan, he asked after you. I met your friend Susan, he asked after you. Aku bertemu dengan temanmu Susan, dia menanyakan kabarmu. Ask out. Mengajak kencan. Trevor is a shy guy. I don't think he would ever ask a girl out. Trevor is a shy guy. I don't think he would ever ask a girl out. Trevor adalah pria yang pemalu. Saya pikir dia tidak akan pernah mengajak seorang gadis berkencan. Ask over. Mengundang atau mengajak. If you aren't doing anything tonight, why don't you ask Rebecca over? If you aren't doing anything tonight, why don't you ask Rebecca over? Jika Anda tidak melakukan apa-apa malam ini, mengapa Anda tidak mengajak Rebecca? Back away atau back down atau back off yang artinya semuanya mundur. They backed away when the boy took out a knife. They backed away when the boy took out a knife. Mereka mundur ketika bocah itu mengeluarkan pisau. They continued arguing and none was willing to back down. They continued arguing and none was willing to back down. Mereka terus berdebat dan tidak ada yang mau mundur. The police backed off when they saw the man had a gun pointed at the hostage. The police backed off when they saw the man had a gun pointed at the hostage. Polisi mundur ketika mereka melihat pria itu menodongkan pisau ke Sandra. Back on atau back onto, membelakangi. Our summer house backs onto a beautiful park. Our summer house backs onto a beautiful park. Rumah musim panas kami membelakangi taman yang indah. Back out of, menarik dukungan. Back out of. He decided to back out of the plan once it started to cost too much. He decided to back out of the plan once it started to cost too much. Dia memutuskan untuk menarik dukungan dari rencana itu begitu biayanya mulai terlalu banyak. Back up yang artinya mendukung bisa juga berarti memundurkan. Don't worry, I'll back you up. Don't worry, I'll back you up. Jangan khawatir, aku akan mendukungmu. If you don't believe me, talk to Jim. He'll back me up. If you don't believe me, talk to Jim. He'll back me up. Jika kamu tidak percaya, bicara dengan James. Dia akan mendukungku. Back up the car a little way and then we can open the gate. Back up the car a little way and then we can open the gate. Mundurkan mobilnya sedikit dan kemudian kita bisa membuka gerbangnya. Blow up yang bisa berarti meledak atau meletus juga bisa berarti sangat parah. We blew up more than 50 balloons for the party. We blew up more than 50 balloons for the party. Kita meletuskan lebih dari 50 balon untuk pesta. Sheila blew up when she found her husband with another woman. Sheila blew up when she found her husband with another woman. Sheila meledak atau sangat marah ketika dia menemukan suaminya dengan wanita lain. Breakdown, yang artinya bisa mogok, bisa sangat sedih. Breakdown. My car broke down and I had to walk 10 miles to the nearest gas station. My car broke down and I had to walk 10 miles to the nearest gas station. 
Mobil saya mogok dan saya harus berjalan 10 mil ke pom bensin terdekat. Brook, bentuk kedua dari brick. Brick, brook, broken. When she heard of her father's sudden death, she broke down. When she heard of the, her father's sudden death, she broke down. Ketika dia mendengar tentang kematian mendadak ayahnya, dia sangat sedih. Break even, yang artinya impas. To break even, we still need to sell another 10 products this month. To break even, we still need to sell another 10 products this month. Untuk mencapai titik impas, kita masih perlu men- perlu menjual 10 produk lagi bulan ini. Break in, yang artinya menyusup masuk. The thieves broke in while the guard dog was sleeping. The thieves broke in while the guard dog was sleeping. Pencuri itu menyusup masuk saat anjing penjaga sedang tidur. Break into, masuk dengan paksa atau juga bisa berarti menginterupsi atau bisa berarti mendadak. The alarm went off as soon as they tried to break into the house. The alarm went off as soon as they tried to break into the house. Alamnya mati saat seiring mereka berusaha untuk masuk ke dalam rumah dengan paksa. I couldn't help but break into your conversation. I couldn't help but break into your conversation. Saya tidak tahan untuk tidak masuk ke dalam percakapan. With a warning, she broke into tears. With a warning, she broke into tears. Gak ada hujan, gak ada angin, tiba-tiba saja dia menangis. Break in on, break in on, mengganggu atau menyela. Don't break in on me while I'm thinking. Don't break in on me while I'm thinking. Jangan menggangguku saat aku sedang berpikir. Break off, berhenti berbicara atau memutus. He broke off in the middle of a sentence to answer the phone. He broke off in the middle of a sentence to answer the phone. Dia berhenti di tengah kalimat untuk menjawab telepon. She broke off the engagement when she found out he was racist. She broke off the engagement when she found out he was racist. Dia perempuan memutuskan pertunangannya ketika dia tahu bahwa pacarnya adalah rasis. The government broke off all peace negotiations after the bomb. The government broke off all peace negotiations after the bomb. Pemerintah memutuskan semua negosiasi perdamaian setelah bom itu. Break out yang artinya pecah atau meletus jadi tiba-tiba atau bisa juga berarti kabur dari penjara. War broke out after the president was assassinated. War broke out after the president was assassinated. Uh, perang pecah setelah bom presiden dibunuh. The prisoners broke out of the prison when There was a power cut. There was a power cut. The prisoners broke out of the prison when when there was a power cut. Itu bukan then, tetapi there. Para tahanan kabur dari penjara ketika listrik padam. Break up. Putus hubungan. They didn't love each other anymore and so they broke up. They didn't love each other anymore and so they broke up. Mereka tidak saling mencintai lagi, jadi mereka putus. Bring about, yang artinya menyebabkan atau menimbulkan. The new government brought about economic reforms. The new government brought about economic reforms. Pemerintah yang baru uh, menimbulkan reformasi ekonomi. Bring back, mengembalikan, membawa kembali atau mengingatkan pada. Please bring back the book tomorrow. Yang ini berarti mengembalikan. Please bring back the book tomorrow. Tolong bawa kembali bukunya besok. The photos bring back lots of good memories. Yang ini artinya mengingatkan pada. The photos bring back lots of good memories. Foto-foto ini membawa kembali banyak kenangan indah. Bring something forward. Yang artinya memajukan. Bring something forward. I can't come on Friday. Let's bring the meeting forward to Wednesday. I can't come on Friday. Let's bring the meeting forward to Wednesday. 
saya tidak bisa datang pada hari Jumat jadi ayo majukan rapatnya ke hari Rabu saja bring in yang artinya menahan atau membawa masuk atau mendatangkan sergeant bring him in before he robs any more banks sergeant bring him in before he robs any more bank sersan tahan dia sebelum dia merampok bank lagi we need to bring in a computer expert for this task we need to bring in a computer expert for this task kita perlu mendatangkan ahli komputer untuk tugas ini the sales department will bring in over half of our profits profits this year the sales department will bring in over half of our profits this year uh, departemen penjualan akan mendatangkan lebih dari setengah keuntungan kami tahun ini bring off berhasil melakukan atau mencapai I never thought she would do it but she brought it off I never thought she would do it but she brought it off saya tidak pernah berpikir dia akan melakukannya tetapi dia berhasil melakukan itu bring on menyebabkan the cold weather brought on his flu and he was powerless to stop it the cold weather brought on his flu and he was powerless to stop it Cuaca yang dingin menyebabkan flunya dan dia tidak berdaya untuk menghentikannya. Bring something out. Bring something out. Yang artinya mengeluarkan atau memperkenalkan. I heard Microsoft are bringing out a revolutionary new computer next year. I heard Microsoft are bringing out a revolutionary new computer next year. Saya mendengar bahwa Microsoft mengeluarkan komputer baru yang revolusioner. tahun depan bring around membujuk atau mengajak he was against the idea but I brought him around when I mentioned the expected profits he was against the idea but I brought him around when I mentioned the expected profits dia menentang gagasan itu tetapi aku berhasil membujuknya ketika aku menyebutkan keuntungan yang diharapkan if your wife isn't doing anything tonight why Why not bring her around for dinner? If your wife isn't doing anything tonight, why not bring her around for dinner? Jika istrimu tidak melakukan apa-apa malam ini, mengapa tidak mengajaknya makan malam? Brush aside. Brush aside yang artinya mengesampingkan. The boss brushed aside my proposal and continued with the plan. The boss brushed aside my proposal and continued with the plan. Bos saya mengenyampingkan usulan saya dan melanjutkan rencananya. Brass up on. Mempelajari ulang, meninjau kembali. Brass up on. You need to brass up on your friends if you plan to live there for six months. You need to brass up on your friends if you plan to live there for six months. Anda perlu mempelajari ulang bahasa Perancis Anda jika Anda berencana untuk tinggal di sana selama enam bulan. burst in burst in masuk dengan tiba-tiba he burst in the room and caught me looking at his old photos he burst in the room and caught me looking at his old photos dia mendadak masuk ke dalam kamar dan memergokiku sedang melihat foto-foto lamanya burst into atau burst out yang artinya tiba-tiba meledak tertawa menangis menyanyi dan lain-lain I knew he was happy when she suddenly burst into song without any warning. I knew she was happy when she suddenly burst into song without any warning. Saya tahu dia bahagia ketika dia tiba-tiba menyanyikan lagu tanpa peringatan apapun. She burst out laughing when she first saw the photo. She burst out laughing when she first saw the photo. Dia meledak tertawa ketika pertama kali melihat foto itu. Call after, dinamakan atau diberi nama seperti. They call their first son after the father's favorite footballer. They call their first son after the father's favorite footballer. Dia diberi nama uh, atas nama pesepak bola kesayangan ayahnya, favorit ayahnya. Colin memanggil. He threatened to call in the police. He threatened to call in the police. Dia mengancam akan memanggil polisi. 
call in on call in on menelpon atau menghubungi anytime you are in the city don't forget to call in on me anytime you are in the city don't forget to call in on me kapanpun anda berada di kota jangan lupa untuk menghubungi saya call off artinya membatalkan atau menghentikan my next my next trip to bali might be called off my next trip to bali might be called off perjalanan saya berikutnya ke bali mungkin akan dibatalkan Voluntary rescuers were instructed to call off the search. Voluntary rescuers were instructed to call off the search. Para penyelamat sukarela diinstruksikan untuk menghentikan pencarian. Calm down. Calm down yang artinya menenangkan. She was hysterical at the news, but her sister calmed her down. She was hysterical at the news, but her sister calmed her down. Dia histeris mendengar berita itu, tetapi saudara perempuannya menenangkannya. Care about, peduli tentang. Care about, I wish more people would care about the economic situations in the third world. I wish more people would care about the economic situations in the third world. Saya berharap lebih banyak orang akan peduli dengan situasi ekonomi di dunia ketiga. Care for. Yang artinya merawat atau peduli. She is caring for her mother while she was ill. Well, she is ill. She is caring for her mother while she is ill. Uh, dia merawat ibunya saat dia sakit. I don't care for football much. I prefer golf. I don't care for football much. I prefer golf. Saya tidak terlalu peduli dengan sepak bola. Saya lebih suka golf. Carry the way. Carry it away, yang artinya terbawa perasaan, terbawa emosi atau terlena. The team won their first two games and were totally carried away, thinking they could win the whole championship. The team won their first two games and were totally carried away, thinking they could win the whole championship. Tim memenangkan dua pertandingan pertama mereka dan benar-benar terlena, berpikir mereka bisa memenangkan seluruh kejuaraan. Carry back, membawa kembali atau mengingatkan kembali. Sing John at the party carried her back to when they were married. Sing John at the party carried her back to when they were married. Melihat John di pesta itu membawanya kembali ke saat mereka menikah atau mengingatkannya kembali ke saat mereka menikah. Carry on, yang artinya melanjutkan atau menjalankan mempunyai hubungan dengan. I very much hope we can carry on our we can carry on our conversations politely. I very much hope we can carry on our conversations politely. Saya sangat berharap kita bisa melanjutkan percakapan kita dengan sopan. He carries on a business as a grocer. He carries on a business as a grocer. Dia menjalankan bisnisnya sebagai seorang pedagang kelontong. Your brother is carrying on Your brother is carrying on with my niece. Your brother is carrying on with my niece. Saudara laki-lakimu mempunyai hubungan dengan keponakanku. Carry out. Yang artinya melakukan atau melaksanakan. We need to carry out more research into cancer. We need to carry out more research into cancer. Kita perlu melakukan lebih banyak penelitian tentang kanker. He carried out his threat and left the company. He carried out his threat and left the company. Dia melaksanakan ancamannya dan meninggalkan perusahaan. Cash in, yang artinya menguangkan atau mencairkan. You should cash in on those shares now and not wait any longer. You should cash in on those shares now and not wait any longer. Anda harus menguangkan saham itu sekarang dan tidak menunggu lebih lama lagi. Cast out, yang artinya mengusir. The thief was cast, casted out the village after his second warning. The thief was casted out of the village after his second warning. Pencuri itu diusir dari desa setelah peringatan yang kedua. Catch out, yang artinya menangkap atau tertangkap basah. If you are cheating on this game, I will catch you out. 
If you are cheating at this game, I will catch you out. Jika anda curang dalam permainan ini, saya akan menangkap anda. Catch up with, mengejar ketinggalan atau menyusul. Catch up with, go ahead, I have to do something and I will catch up with you later. Go ahead, I have to do something and I will catch up with you later. Lanjutkan, saya akan melakukan sesuatu dan aku akan menyusulmu nanti. Cater for, cater for, yang artinya melayani. That hotel specialized in catering for business people on short trips. That hotel specializes in catering for business people on short trips. Hotel itu mengkhususkan diri dalam melayani orang-orang bisnis dalam perjalanan singkat. Change over, beralih atau pindah atau menukar. Change over. I changed over from high tar to low tar cigarettes. I changed over from high tar to low tar cigarettes. Saya beralih dari rokok dengan tar yang tinggi ke tar yang lebih rendah. Change round. Can you and Phil change round? You are too tall to stand in the front row. Can you and Phil change round? You are too tall to stand in the front row. Bisakah kamu dan Phil bertukar tempat? Kamu terlalu tinggi untuk berdiri di barisan depan. Check in. Tiba dan mendarat di hotel atau airport. You should check in for an international flight at least an hour before departure. You should check in for an international flight at least an hour before departure. Anda harus check in untuk penerbangan internasional setidaknya satu jam sebelum keberangkatan. Check on artinya memeriksa atau mengkontrol. Go and check on the baby. I don't think she is sleeping yet. Go and check on the baby. I don't think she is sleeping yet. Pergi dan periksa bayinya. Kurasa dia belum tidur. Check out meninggalkan hotel dan membayar tagihan. Juga bisa berarti memeriksa atau melihat. We have to check out of the hotel early tomorrow as we have to be at the airport at 8. We have to check out of the hotel early tomorrow as we have to be at the airport at 8. Kami harus check out dari hotel besok pagi karena kami harus berada di bandara pada jam 8 pagi. Wow, check out the wheels on the sports car. Wow, check out the wheels on that sports car. Wow, lihat roda di mobil sport itu. Cheer on, menyemangati, cheer on. I'm going to the stadium to cheer on my son's soccer team. I'm going to the stadium to cheer on my son's soccer team. Saya akan pergi ke stadion untuk menyemangati tim sepak bola putra saya. Cheer up, yang artinya menghibur atau bersorak. I wanted to cheer Jane up as he looked so miserable when I saw her. I wanted to cheer Jane up as he looked so miserable when I saw her. Uh, saya ingin menghibur Jane karena dia terlihat sangat sedih ketika saya melihatnya. Jane cheer up when two of her friends came to visit her. Jane cheer up when two of her friends came to visit her. Jane bersorak ketika dua temannya datang mengunjunginya. Chew over, mempertimbangkan masa-masa atau menelaah. Chew over. It's such a difficult decision to make that we should chew it over for a few days. It's such a difficult decision to make that we should chew it over for a few days. Ini adalah keputusan yang sangat sulit untuk dibuat sehingga kita harus menelaahnya selama beberapa hari. Close up yang artinya menutup atau ditutup. Business is bad right now. My partner suggested temporarily closing up the shop. Business is bad right now. My partner suggested temporarily closing up the shop. Bisnis sedang buruk sekarang. Teman rekan saya menyarankan untuk menutup toko untuk sementara. This herbal ointment will help to close up your wound. Your wound quickly. This herbal ointment will help to close up your wound quickly. Salep herbal ini akan membantu menutup luka Anda dengan cepat. Come about. Terjadi. Come about. The investigation will look for answer about how the accident came about. The investigation will look for answers about how the accident came about. Uh, penyelidikan akan mencari jawaban tentang bagaimana kecelakaan itu terjadi. 
come across ya you know, dia tidak sengaja atau kebetulan i came across our old typewriter when i was up in the attic today i came across our old typewriter when i was up in the attic today saya tidak sengaja menemukan mesin tik lama kami ketika saya berada di loteng hari ini come by yang artinya datang mendekat lewat a farmer came by as we were having our picnic a farmer came by as we were having our picnic seorang petani datang atau lewat ketika kami sedang picnic come into menjadi they come they came into a fortune when they reach uncle died they came into a fortune when they reach uncle died mereka menjadi kaya ketika paman mereka yang kaya meninggal come through sembu she came through her illness thanks to the wonderful doctors she came through her illness thanks to the wonderful doctors dia sembuh dari penyakitnya berkat para dokter yang luar biasa come up yang artinya muncul the issue of the company's finances comes up at every board meeting the issue of the company's finances comes up at every board meeting Masalah keuangan perusahaan muncul di setiap rapat dewan. Come up with, yang artinya memperoleh atau mendapat. Come up with. I need to come up with $50 by 6 o'clock tonight. I need to come up with $50 by 6 o'clock tonight. Saya harus mendapat $50 pada jam 6 malam ini. Count for, diperhitungkan. His 10 years of experience in this job will come for to promote. His 10 years of experience in this job will come for to promote. 10 tahun pengalaman di dalam pekerjaan ini akan diperhitungkan untuk dipromosikan. Count in. Memasukkan dalam hal ini orang. If you are planning to trip to the theater tonight, count me in. If you are planning to If you are pl- planning a trip to the theater tonight, count me in. Jika Anda merencanakan per- perjalanan ke theater malam ini, masukkan saya atau perhitungkan saya. Count on, mengandalkan atau bergantung kepada. Please don't go. I was counting on you to babysit the children tonight. Please don't go. I was counting on you to babysit the children tonight. Tolong jangan pergi. Saya mengandalkan Anda untuk mengasuh anak-anak malam ini. Cover against. Memproteksi terhadap. Cover against. We bought a special insurance policy to cover the house against storm damage. We bought a special insurance policy to cover the house against storm damage. Kami membeli polis asuransi khusus untuk memproteksi rumah terhadap kerusakan akibat badai. Cover for, menggantikan. Cover for. If you want to go for a quick coffee, I will cover for your work for a while. If you want to go for a quick coffee, I will cover for your work for a while. Jika kamu ingin pergi untuk minum kopi sebentar, aku akan menggantikan pekerjaanmu untuk sementara waktu. Cover up, cover up yang artinya menutupi. He was accused of covering up the scandal. He was accused of covering up the scandal. Dia dituduh menutupi skandal itu. Cross off atau cross out yang artinya mencentang atau mencoret. As we interview each person, please cross them off. Please cross them off that list I give you. As we interview each person. Please cross them off that list I give you. Saat kita mewawancarai masing-masing orang, tolong centang mereka dari daftar yang saya berikan kepadamu. Your name has been crossed out because you are not eligible. Your name has been crossed out because you are not eligible. Nama Anda telah dicoret karena Anda tidak memenuhi syarat. Cut down on. Mengurangi atau memperkecil. Cut down on. My doctor says I have to cut down on smoking. My doctor says I have to cut down on smoking. Dokter saya bilang saya harus mengurangi kebiasaan merokok saya. Cut in, 
memotong atau menginterupsi. Stop cutting in just when I start speaking to you. Stop cutting in just when I start speaking to you. Berhenti memotong tepat ketika saya mulai berbicara kepada Anda. Cut off yang artinya putus atau memutus atau diputus. They were completely cut off from the outside world. They were completely cut off from the outside world. Mereka benar-benar terputus dari dunia luar. The town is without electricity and the water supply has been cut off. The town is without electricity and the water supply has been cut off. Kota ini tanpa listrik dan pasokan air telah terputus. Cut out yang artinya memotong atau dihilangkan. The doctor cut out his tonsils. The doctor cut out his tonsils. Dokter itu memotong amandelnya. Sweets should be cut out of diabetics diet. Sweets should be cut out of diabetics diet. Permen harus dihilangkan dari diet penderita diabetes. Die away. Perlahan-lahan menghilang untuk suara. Finally, the sound died away. Finally, the sound died away. Akhirnya, suara itu menghilang. Die down yang artinya mereda atau melemah. The noise from that party didn't die down until after 10 a.m. The noise from that party didn't die down until after 3 a.m. Kebisingan dari pesta itu tidak mereda sampai setelah jam 3 pagi. Die for sangat menginginkan. By the time I arrived at the bar, I was dying for a cold drink. By the time I arrived at the bar, I was dying for a cold drink. Pada saat saya tiba di bar, saya sangat ingin minuman dingin. Die out yang artinya punah. The dinosaurs died out millions of years before humans appeared. The dinosaurs died out millions of years before humans appeared. Uh, dinosaurus punah jutaan tahun sebelum manusia muncul. Dig up, dig up. Yang artinya menggali untuk informasi. After the divorce, he dug up a lot of terrible things about her. After the divorce, he dug up a lot of terrible things about her. Setelah penceraian, dia menggali banyak hal buruk tentangnya. Do down, merendahkan. Do down. The grumpy old professor was always doing down the new students in the class. The grumpy old professor was always doing down the new students in the class. Profesor tua yang penggerutu itu selalu merendahkan siswa-siswa baru di kelas. Do without. Do without. Sedang tidak memerlukan. You can use my car today as I can do without it. I'll work at home. You can use my car today as I can do, do as I can do without it. I'll work at home. Kamu dapat menggunakan mobilku hari ini karena aku sedang tidak memerlukannya. Aku akan bekerja di rumah. Drag on. Drag on atau drag out. Yang artinya dipanjang-panjangkan, diseret-seret. He drags out meetings because he loves to feel important. He drags out meetings because he loves to feel important. Dia memanjang-manjangkan rapat karena dia suka merasa seperti orang penting. The German opera dragged on for four and a half hours. How boring. The German opera dragged on for four and a half hours. How boring. Opera Jerman itu diperpanjang, dipanjang-panjangkan selama empat setengah jam. Betapa membosankan. Draw ahead, melintas atau menyalip. The winning car began to draw ahead when only five kilometers are left of the race. The winning car begins to draw ahead when only 5 kilometers are left of the race. Mobil pemenang mulai melintas ke depan ketika balapan hanya tersisa 5 km. Draw off, mengalihkan perhatian atau mengeluarkan. Draw off. The robbers drew off the security guards and robbed the money truck. The robbers drew off the security guards and robbed the money truck. Para perampok mengalihkan perhatian petugas keamanan dan merampok terkuang. The doctor drew off some fluid to relieve the pressure. The doctor drew off some fluid to relieve the pressure. Dokter mengeluarkan beberapa cairan untuk meredakan tekanan. 
Draw out Memperpanjang Menarik atau mengambil uang di bank Draw out I don't want to draw this argument Let's agree to disagree I don't want to draw out this argument Let's agree to disagree Saya tidak ingin memperpanjang argumen ini Mari kita setuju untuk tidak setuju He drew out a thousand dollars to buy the car He drew out a thousand dollars to buy the car Dia menarik uang seribu dolar untuk membeli mobil itu Dream up Merekarka He arrives late every day and always manages to dream up something that he that the boss believes. He arrives late every day and always manages to dream up something that the boss believes. Dia datang terlambat setiap hari dan selalu berhasil merekarka sesuatu untuk dipercayai bosnya. Dress down yang artinya menghadik atau membentak. He dressed down his secretary about making personal calls at work. He dressed down his secretary about making personal calls at work. Dia menghadik sekretarisnya karena membawa panggilan, membuat panggilan pribadi di tempat kerja. Dress up, dress up, berdandan. I love dressing up for weddings and similar events. I love dressing up for wedding and similar events. Saya suka berdandan untuk pernikahan dan acara yang serupa. Drive at. Maksud atau bermaksud atau menginginkan. He uses such complicated language that I never understood, understand what he's driving at. He uses such complicated language that I never understand what he's driving at. Dia menggunakan bahasa yang begitu rumit sehingga saya tidak pernah bisa mengerti apa yang dia maksudkan. Drive off, mengusir. Drive off. He left home at 15, driven off by his violent father, he claims. He left home at 15, driven off by his violent father, he claims. Dia meninggalkan rumah pada usia 15, diusir oleh ayahnya yang kejam, katanya. Drop in or drop by, yang artinya mampir. Drop by if you are in a year area, I would love to see you. Drop by if you are in the area. I would love to see you. Mampir kalau kamu ada di area ini. Saya akan senang melihat Anda. Atau menemui Anda. Drop off. Drop off. Menurunkan dari kendaraan. Atau bisa juga berarti ketiduran. I always drop off my children at school on the way to the office. I always drop off my children at school on the way to the office. Saya selalu menurunkan anak-anak saya di sekolah dalam perjalanan ke kantor. Can you drop me off there? Can you drop me off there? Bisakah Anda menurunkan saya di sana? My father always drops off in front of the TV. My father always drops off in front of the TV. Ayah saya selalu tertidur di depan TV. Is off. Is off yang artinya mereda atau berkurang. Untuk hujan atau lalu lintas Just wait till the rain eases off a bit Just wait till the rain eases off a bit Tunggu sampai hujannya sedikit reda It takes ages till the traffic eases off It takes ages till the traffic eases off Dibutuhkan waktu lama sampai lalu lintasnya berkurang End up Berakhir dengan atau akhirnya menjadi If you keep spending money like that, you'll end up poorer than before. If you keep spending money like that, you'll end up poorer than before. Jika Anda terus menghabiskan uang seperti itu, Anda akan berakhir dengan lebih miskin dari sebelumnya. She wanted to work in advertising but ended up a teacher. She wanted to work up in advertising but ended up a teacher. Dia ingin bekerja di periklanan tetapi akhirnya menjadi guru fall behind tertinggal di belakang fall behind when she injured her ankle she fell behind the rest of the runners when he injured her ankle she fell behind the rest of the runners ketika pergelangan kakinya luka dia tertinggal di belakang pelari 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 lainnya fall for Jatuh cinta, fall for. He fell for his wife as soon as he met her. 
he fell for his wife as soon as he met her. Dia jatuh cinta pada istrinya begitu dia bertemu dengannya. Fall off, yang artinya menurun atau berkurang. The quality of his work has fallen off in recent years. The quality of her work, the quality of his work has fallen off in recent years. Kualitas karyanya telah menurun dalam beberapa tahun terakhir. Fall through, fall through, tidak jadi atau gagal atau kandas. They had a plan to build a new road, but it fell through. They had a plan to build a new road, but it fell through. Mereka memiliki rencana untuk membangun jalan baru, tetapi tidak jadi. Feel like, feel like, yang artinya ingin. I feel like going shopping and spending a lot of money. I feel like going shopping and spending a lot of money. Saya ingin berbelanja dan menghabiskan banyak uang. Feel for, menyayangkan atau bersimpati. I feel for you having to work 14 hours a day. It must be terrible. I feel for you having a, to work 50, 14 hours a day. It must be terrible. Saya bersimpati Anda harus bekerja 14 jam sehari. Itu pasti mengerikan. Fight back, berjuang kembali atau memberi perlawanan. He was demoted but fought back to a management position in only two years. He was demoted but fought back to a management position in only two years. Dia diturunkan tetapi berjuang kembali ke posisi manajemennya hanya dalam dua tahun. Figure out, figure out, mencari tahu atau menemukan cara. I can figure out why he quit his job. I can't figure out why he quit his job. Saya tidak bisa mencari tahu mengapa dia berhenti dari pekerjaannya. We must figure out how to solve the problem. We must figure out how to solve the problem. Kita harus mencari cara untuk memecahkan masalahnya. Fill in, mengisi waktu luang atau mengisi posisi atau menggantikan, bisa juga untuk mengisi formulir. How am I, how am I going to fill in this afternoon? How am I going to fill in this afternoon? Bagaimana saya akan mengisi sore ini? You will have to fill in your You will have to fill in for Jane who is on holiday this week. You will have to fill in for Jane who is on holiday this week. Anda harus menggantikan posisi Jane yang akan sedang berlibur minggu ini. Just fill in the form and when we can talk about how much money you want to borrow. Just fill in the form and then we can talk about how much money you want to borrow. Isi, isi aja formulirnya dan kemudian kita bisa membicarakan berapa banyak uang yang ingin Anda pinjam. Find out, yang artinya menemukan untuk info atau menemukan, menemukan kesalahan seseorang. I found out yesterday that I have a sister I have never met. I found out yesterday that I have a sister I have never met. Saya menemukan kemarin bahwa saya memiliki seorang saudara perempuan yang belum pernah saya temui. Don't worry about John, they will find him out and sack him immediately. Don't worry about John, they will find him out and sack him immediately. Jangan khawatir tentang John, mereka akan menemukan kesalahannya dan memecatnya segera. Finish off, finish off, mengakhiri. He finished off the speech by giving us some examples. He finished off the speech by giving us some examples. Dia mengakhiri pidatonya dengan memberi kita beberapa contoh. Finish up, yang artinya mengakhiri atau menghabiskan waktu. They finished up by having some wine in a nearby wine bar. They finished up by having some wine in a nearby wine bar. Mereka menghabiskan waktu dengan minum anggur di bar anggur terdekat. Fit in, yang artinya cocok atau sesuai. Fit in. My son loved his first day at school. He fitted in well with the other kids. My son loves his first day at school. He fitted in with the other kids. Anak saya menyukai hari pertamanya di sekolah. Dia cocok dengan anak-anak yang lain. The building doesn't fit in with the surrounding area. The building doesn't fit in with the surrounding area. 
uh, bangunan itu tidak cocok dengan lingkungan sekitarnya. Without melengkapi, without melengkapi. His new car is fitted out with all the latest technology. His new car is fitted out with all the latest technology. Mobil barunya dilengkapi dengan semua teknologi terbaru. Follow up, menindaklanjuti. Follow up. I was initially interested in the job, but I didn't follow it up in the end. I was initially interested in the job, but I didn't follow it up in the end. Awalnya saya tertarik dengan pekerjaan itu, tetapi pada akhirnya saya tidak menindaklanjutinya. Get along, cocok atau dapat bergaul dengan get along. He doesn't get along at all with her sister. They always fighting. He doesn't get along at all with his sister. They are always fighting. Dia sama sekali tidak cocok dengan saudara perempuannya. Mereka selalu berkelahi. Our new boss is very easy to get along with. Our new boss is very easy to get along with. Bos baru kami sangat mudah bergaul. Get around, berkeliling. Get around. We had to use public transport to get around. We had to use public transport to get around. Kita harus menggunakan transportasi umum untuk berkeliling. Get it. Yang artinya sering mengkritik, bisa juga berarti menyampaikan atau mencapai sesuatu atau mengambil. The teacher is always getting at, getting at me. I've done nothing wrong. The teacher is always getting at me. I've done nothing wrong. Guru itu selalu mengkritik saya. Saya tidak melakukan kesalahan apapun. What exactly are you getting at? Explain it again slowly. What exactly are you getting at? Explain it again slowly. Apa sebenarnya yang Anda ingin sampaikan? Jelaskan lagi, pelan-pelan. The cupboard is too high for me to get at. The cupboard is too high for me to get at. Lemari itu terlalu tinggi bagi saya untuk capai, untuk saya mencapainya. The report is locked in the cabinet and I can't get at them. The report is locked in the cabinet and I can't get at them. Laporannya terkunci di lemari dan saya tidak bisa mengambilnya. Get away artinya kabur atau lolos atau bisa juga berarti mingkir atau lepas dari. They try to get away from the police but they weren't quick enough. They try to get away from the police but they weren't quick enough. Mereka mencoba kabur dari polisi tetapi mereka tidak cukup cepat. Get away from me. Get away from me. Menjauh dariku. It was so busy that Francisca couldn't get away from the phone all day. It was so busy that Francisca couldn't get away from the phone all day. Begitu sibuknya sehingga Francisca tidak bisa lepas dari telepon sepanjang hari. Get back, yang artinya mundur atau kembali. Get back. The police told the crowd to get back from the burning house. The police told the crowd to get back from the burning house. Polisi itu menyuruh masa untuk mundur dari rumah yang terbakar. Though they lost the last election, they are hoping to get back next time. Though they lost the last election, they are hoping to get back next time. Meskipun mereka kalah dalam pemilihan yang terakhir, mereka berharap untuk kembali lagi lain kali. Get down, membuat sedih atau frustasi, tertekan, artinya juga bisa turun dari mobil. Get down. Don't let these problems get you down too much. Don't let these problems get you down too much. Jangan biarkan masalah ini membuat Anda terlalu sedih. Weather like this always gets me down. Weather like this always gets me down. Cuaca seperti ini selalu membuatku tertekan. Get down from the car. Get down from the car. Turun dari mobil. <coughs> get down to. Mulai secara serius. Get down to. We must get down to work if we want to finish by tonight. We must get down to work if we want to finish by tonight. Kita harus mulai serius bekerja jika kita ingin selesai malam ini. Enough with the small talk. Let's get down to business. Enough with the small talk. Let's get down to business. Cukup basa basinya. Ayo kita kembali bicarakan mas- ke urusan yang penting. Get in. Artinya naik atau masuk ke dalam mobil atau taksi. Get in the car. I'll take you there. 
get in the car, I'll take you there. Masuklah ke dalam mobil. Nah, atau naiklah ke dalam mobil, aku akan mengantarmu ke sana. Get off, turun dari kendaraan umum seperti base, kereta api, dan seterusnya. Get off. You have to get off at the next station for the museum. You have to get off at the next station for the museum. Anda harus turun di stasiun berikutnya untuk pergi ke museum itu. Get on, naik kendaraan umum. I couldn't get on the bus as it was too full. I couldn't get on the bus as it was too full. Saya tidak bisa naik ke bisnya karena terlalu penuh. Get out, keluar, mengeluarkan. I always get out at this station. I always get out at this station. Saya selalu keluar di stasiun ini. After an hour, the mother managed to get the thorn out her boy's hand. After an hour, the mother's managed to get the thorn out of her boy's hand. Setelah satu jam, sang ibu berhasil mengeluarkan duri dari tangan putri putranya. Get out of, get out of, menghindar dari, lolos dari, keluar dari. He always tells his parents he has homework to get out of doing the dishes. He always tells his parents he was, he has homework to get out of doing the dishes. Dia selalu memberitahu orang tuanya bahwa dia memiliki pekerjaan rumah untuk lolos dari mencuci piring. She was, sorry, she was lucky to get out of that dangerous situation. She was lucky to get out of that dangerous situation. Dia beruntung bisa keluar dari situasi berbahaya itu. The police officer told me to get out of the car. The police officer told me to get out of the car. Petugas polisi itu menyuruh saya turun dari mobil atau menyuruh saya keluar dari mobil. Get over, pulih dari atau melupakan, bisa juga berarti mengatasi atau sembuh dari. Get over. It took him five years to get over the loss of his son. It took him five years to get over the loss of his son. Butuh waktu lima tahun baginya untuk melupakan kehilangan putranya. I got over my fear of dogs when I stayed with my dog-loving uncle. I got over my fear of dogs when I stayed with my dog-loving uncle. Saya mengatasi rasa takut saya terhadap anjing ketika saya tinggal bersama paman saya yang penyayang anjing. I thought it would never get over her illness. I thought Sorry, I thought she would never get over her illness. Uh, saya pikir dia tidak akan pernah bisa sembuh dari penyakitnya. Get through yang artinya menyambungkan untuk telepon atau bisa juga berarti lolos. Hold on a second, I will get you through reservation. Hold on a second, I will get you through reservation. Tunggu sebentar, saya akan menghubungkan Anda ke bagian reservasi. Liverpool got through the Liverpool got through to the final by hammering Manchester United 7-1. Liverpool got through to the final by hammering Manchester United 7-1. Liverpool lolos ke final dengan mengalahkan Manchester United 7-1. Give away, memberikan, membagi-bagikan, membeberkan. He gave away all his kittens as he didn't have space for them. He gave away all his kittens as he didn't have space for them. Dia memberikan semua anak kucingnya karena dia tidak punya tempat untuk mereka. Keep on mind that people are not in business to give away money. Keep on mind that people are not in business to give away money. Perlu diingat bahwa orang tidak dalam bisnis untuk membagi-bagikan uang. He spoke too freely and gave away the thief's hiding place. He spoke too freely and gave away the thief's hiding place. Dia berbicara terlalu bebas dan membeberkan tempat persembunyian pencuri. Give in, menyerahkan. I found a set of keys and gave them in to the police. I found a set of keys and gave them in to the police. Saya menemukan satu set kunci dan memberikannya kepada polisi. Give up yang artinya menyerah atau berhenti atau menyerah, menyerahkan give up I give up the crossword puzzle is too difficult I give up the crossword the crossword puzzle is too difficult saya menyerah tekan silang ini terlalu sulit 
I gave up drinking whiskey on my doctor's advice. I gave up drinking whiskey on my doctor's advice. Saya berhenti minum whiskey atas saran dokter saya. I had to give up my house in the country after my uncle died. I had to give up my house in the country after my uncle died. Saya harus menyerahkan rumah saya di pedesaan setelah paman saya meninggal. Go bad. Menjadi busuk untuk buah-buahan atau makanan. The soup has gone bad. Don't eat it. The soup has gone bad. Don't eat it. Sup ini sudah basi. Jangan memakannya. Go for. Berlaku sama. Bisa untuk terjual. What he said about not working on Sundays. Go for me too. What he said not. What he said about not working on Sundays. Goes for me too. Apa yang dia katakan untuk tidak bekerja pada hari-hari minggu. Berlaku untuk saya juga. Can this brush go for a paintbrush? Can this brush go for a paintbrush? Apakah kuas ini bisa untuk kuas cat? The fun golf sketch went for over a thousand pounds at the auction. The fun golf sketch went for over a thousand pounds at the auction. Sketsa fun golf terjual lebih dari seribu pound di pelelangan. Grow into tumbuh menjadi grow into Alice Alice will grow into a beautiful woman in a few years Alice will grow into a beautiful woman in a few years Alice akan tumbuh menjadi seorang wanita cantik dalam beberapa tahun ke depan go on melanjutkan go on after studying history at university he went on to work in a museum after studying history at university he went on to work in a museum setelah belajar sejarah di universitas, dia melanjutkan dengan bekerja di museum. She went on studying until she finally graduated in 1998. She went on studying until she finally graduated in 1998. Dia melanjutkan studinya hingga akhirnya lulus pada tahun 1998. Grow up, tumbuh berkembang atau menjadi dewasa. When I grow up, I want to be a train driver. When I grow up, I want to be a train driver. Ketika saya besar nanti, saya ingin menjadi masinis kereta api. Tom needs to grow up and realize that he can tell lies all the time. Tom needs to grow up and realize that he can tell lies all the time. Tom perlu tumbuh dewasa dan menyadari bahwa dia tidak akan tidak dapat berbohong sepanjang waktu. Oke okay, teman-teman, sekian dulu pelajaran di video kita kali ini. Terima kasih sudah menonton video ini. Semoga bermanfaat bagi kalian. Saya minta maaf jika ada yang salah-salah dalam penyampaian informasinya. Dan sekali lagi, mohon dibantu dengan like, subscribe, share, dan komennya. Okay guys, see you on the next video and bye bye.